Earth jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. Ashley, my senses are indicating a highly acidic atmosphere composition. Fluoric acid condensation is definitely abnormal compared to what we've seen in other parts of the planet. Something must be emitting the acid straight into the air. Let's look around to see what we can find. Amazing. These red crystals are really huge. Look at how the light is scattering below their surface. It's mesmerizing. They also contain a lot of rhodonite. We can use this mineral to construct high-powered laser emitters for our weapons as well as other equipment. You already had me convinced at lasers. We definitely need to learn more about these crystals. We should research rhodonite handling as soon as possible. Okay, let's go there to see what is causing them. Fumes are much denser near this growth. This thing must be responsible for the highly corrosive atmosphere in this area. This life form is multiplying very rapidly. It is subdividing its cells, similarly to Earth-based yeast. The fluid inside these cells is highly corrosive. Please keep a safe distance. There must be much more of this acidic yeast growing here. The orbital scanner report indicated that this entire biome is covered in these fumes. We should study it further before setting up a permanent outpost in this area of the planet. Ashley, I strongly suggest using a bioscanner to gather samples from these life forms. The fluid inside them is a highly condensed acid that can easily burn through my armor. The bioscanner will allow us to gather samples from a safe distance. Okay, that's enough samples to start researching them in the Alien Research Lab. Interesting, we found traces of palladium inside the acidic yeast samples that we just collected. It might be a good idea to search for larger colonies of this life form. They might indicate the location of higher concentrations of palladium. The acidic yeast colonies that we've observed seem to grow from a central root inside the colony. I'd like to study a living colony in its natural habitat to gather more data on how it gathers palladium from the environment. We'll need to construct a local research station near one of the colonies in order to do that. We'll have to download the necessary technology for that building if we don't have it yet. Ashley, I'm a...
afraid that the research station will not be able to scan the colony from a safe distance. It would have to be placed very close to the root of the colony to work properly. We will not be able to build anything that close to the root without being overwhelmed by its growth. Especially given the fact that we do not want to destroy it. I think that we can prevent the colony from overgrowing our base by covering the soil with a structure that the acidic yeast can't grow on. Standard floor tiles are going to be corroded by the colony. We can prevent that. Now that we know the type of acid that this life form is producing, we can research special anti-corrosive flooring that will protect our base. We just need to build the research station on the anti-corrosive floor tiles. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for research completed. Scanning completed. We have located a large colony of acidic yeast. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the planetary scanner interface. Warning! It is recommended to develop acidic shielding before visiting that location. It is going to be difficult to survive there without it.
testing completed. My sensors are indicating an imminent release of acidic gases. The ground is opening up. Watch out for corrosive gas. Eruption is over. The situation is stabilizing. We've finished researching road night handling. We can start researching new laser-based weapons and towers. They are going to be an excellent addition to our arsenal. However, we will first have to gather some road night to craft the new gear. The red crystals that contain road night are relatively common in the acidic plains biome. However, I detected an interesting location with a much above normal condensation of their growth. There should be a lot of road night in that area. I've marked the rift gem coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. Excellent. Let's go there as soon as we've secured the current objective. Research completed.
Base is under attack. Rising. It's going to rain in a moment. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. The rain is over.
Rift jumped successful. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies nearby. They are larger than the ones we have seen before, and are growing at a faster rate. Good. We need to get close to the central root of one of these colonies and construct a research station near it. This isn't going to be easy. Okay, this looks like the central root of the colony. Now we have to build a research station close to it to start the scanning procedure. Remember that we can block the growth of the colony by placing anti-corrosive floor tiles around it. It would be advised to build our entire base on anti-corrosive floor.
It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. The wind is very slow today. Wind turbine efficiency is not going to be that great. Wind is picking up again. Power generation is back to normal.
Research lab operational. Acidic yeast scanning in progress. Great. Now we just have to maintain power to the research lab and let it gather the necessary data. My sensors are picking up increased movement around our position. We should prepare to defend the research laboratory. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. efficiency is back to normal.
for an ion storm. Base is under attack. This ion storm is really intense. It disabled a lot of equipment. We have to wait it off. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. The research lab has finished gathering data. Objective completed. The data that we've gathered proves that this life form can digest even the smallest traces of palladium. Palladium normally doesn't react with most acids, but this life form uses a highly concentrated form of fluoric acid that is heated up by the creature's metabolic processes. We can program the orbital scanner to analyze the growth patterns of the acidic yeast colonies. This should help us in finding palladium deposits that these colonies are moving towards. Affirmative, Ashley. Orbital scanning in progress. Analyzing acidic yeast growth patterns. Orbital scanning finished. We have found something interesting. There are a few areas within the acidic plains that are entirely surrounded by the yeast colonies. Spectral analysis confirms that palladium should be present there. However, the yeast is actively avoiding these zones. Interesting. If there's palladium there and they aren't interested in it, then something might be preventing them from growing in that area. We should prepare for the unexpected. <laughs>